hey guys so i'm just working on a little project here uh i need to build a new well not really build but i need to fabricate a new bracket for my alternator here's my old bracket and i just picked up a foot of two inch um flat bar just mild steel same thickness as this one so i'm gonna get this laid out and I'm just adding about an inch and a half to the end here. The hole mark there, punch it and drill it, and then I'll come in here and I'll also lay out my, my end holes here. I don't need it to be this long. I can probably come back about in here somewhere, and then we'll cut it with an abrasive disc. After that, we'll get the, the ends cut to get the same shape. A guy can use Dicom on this and then describe it. Uh, Cheap alternative is a Sharpie. That works real good, blue one. So we'll just mark this. I usually just use Sharpies because a lot of times things are hard to find in our town. Uh, people just don't carry all the things that you'd find in a larger city or have access to. And Dicom's kind of one of those things. Uh, you can get these at any uh, big box store. So let's see. Just have a scribe. Need a little more on the corner here. So we're basically just going to lay that out just like that. I'm not worried about this end where I tension it. I'm just adding my extra length on uh, this end right here. And then I'll drill a new hole for the, uh, the bolt where it goes into the, into the engine. And that's gonna give me plenty of room that I need. There's really nothing that technical or fancy about this. So we're just gonna keep it real simple. I'm also gonna open up this hole a little bit because it's large enough on this end, but it does have a couple of tight spots. And so I'm going to probably go with this thickness here, but I'm also going to replicate the thickness of this side of the bracket over here. The side's a little thin because I had to grind this out when I put a bigger alternator on because the, the tensioner bolt was larger. I'm just going to mark the top side and then I'll bring it down here and, uh, and we'll remark the bottom that I already scribed out because I wasn't thinking that's right so that's where it is currently so we are just going to go ahead and add about an inch inch and a half what can we get out of here if I need to I can always cut that this end off and redrill the hole and even if the hole's in the way then I'll just uh, simply fill it just fill it with weld and grind it off and leave it the hole, so. Bring that back a little bit. Mark the hole. And then we'll also increase the thickness of this bracket a little bit. good so we'll punch a couple of holes in here and then we'll take this outside and we'll cut it so I'm not like super worried about the dimensions of this and making exactly the same as the other um, it just needs to be close it's just a simple bracket there's a lot of slop, there's a lot of play in these. So we don't need to be really perfectly close. We don't have any tight tolerances or anything like that to worry about. So I'm not gonna make this adjustment quite as long because I know I don't need that much room. I'm gonna come back here, probably about an inch off of that one. That there looks pretty good. 
So we'll drill these holes and then we'll have a nice ending on these. And then um, we just come in here with the disc and cut these. That should give me enough room. So it takes us over and uh, get these drilled out. Okay, we'll just start with the pilot hole here. Dab of oil. We're going to open this hole up just a little bit bigger for the bolt that mounts this bracket to the engine. And then the other one, we're just going to go uh, a little larger than that. Put a little oil on this bit, keep it happy. good and we got a chamfering bit we'll chamfer these holes that's going to give us a nice edge that's broken it's going to keep the threads of the bolts from hanging up on it and not going to have any little chunks of metal that are getting in the threads trying to gall things up so we'll just break that a little bit on each side it doesn't take much uh, hopefully the light's not too bad out here it's starting to get dim out so we're just set up here i just got this clamped on to my little table um, i'm going to cut this inside radius first using an old blade because it's small it'll fit in there better so we'll start with that one i usually cut this stuff outside because the steel it just kind of stinks everything up So I'm just getting these basic uh, radius on here. I'm not real concerned about being right on the line. I'm just kind of roughing it in. Um, I'll use a flap disc to clean this up and that'll remove that material real fast and leave a nice finish, get me right where I want to be. Okay, there's our basic shape. Let's get her cleaned up. So back inside where I got some better light. So this is the progress I made. Didn't take very long to cut that and uh, clean it up. I still need to open up the slot. I'll probably use a die grinder for that. Clean up these edges a little bit. Yeah, looks good. Happy with it. Here's the old one for comparison. It's a little bit skinnier than the new one. Obviously a little bit shorter because that's why we needed to make a new one. So if my new one ends up being too long, I'll just cut off that hole and punch new one in. No big deal. There we go, finished product. I just finished it up off camera. This is kind of crummy outside. It's hard to film when it's raining, so. Looks pretty good. That's ready to go. We're going to take it down to the boat. We're going to put this alternator on and tension it up and see if uh, we fix the problem. I'm hoping that I have enough throw there now that um, that's not an issue. I guess the other alternative is to cut the bell housing. Yep. A little bit. If we have to, then we will. Which is fine to tackle that when we get to it. Hmm? Yeah. We'll see. Yep. We'll head that way and find out.